We're at Wardrick Wells right now. We're about to leave. Uh, we're heading to Compass Key today, or just outside Compass Key. Uh, we're either gonna stay at, I've been looking at Bell Island or Bell Key, and uh, also Fowl Key. I kinda wanna check out the uh, Rocky Dundas. There are these caves if we can. I really wanna see the Rocky Dundas, but sometimes it can be hard to uh, do dinghy adventures for us with our inconsistent dinghy engine, but I've been getting it down pretty good nowadays, so I can probably get into working for a quick excursion to the Rocky Dundas. Worst case scenario, we're at Compass Key tomorrow, and we're gonna go stay at a marina. Getting ready to leave right now. Love going into the wind through the channels. It's our favorite. We go so fast. Let's see how fast we're going. Whoa! Just anchored here at Chicken Key right now, also known as uh, Fowl Key, right uh, next to the Rocky Dundas. The Rocky Dundas are right there, close enough to make a little quick dinghy trip across. Check out the caves tomorrow. It's best to check out the uh, Rocky Dundas caves at uh, low tide, so low tide's around noon tomorrow. We'll go a little bit before then, and then after that we'll head over to Compass Key and stay there tomorrow night. Here's our anchorage right now. Chicken Key, Fowl Key, anchored right about there. The Rocky Dundas are located right next to us. Right there. And if you see here on the Rocky Dundas, caves. I want to check out those caves. It's going to be a close day to Compass Key Marina. I think we're going to stay at the marina right over there. Very close to where we are. Simply island hopping nowadays. Still, they're, they're long days even though we're just island hopping. They are. We're a little spoiled with our short I think it's the sun. distances. I think it's the sun too, and you know. We got no bimini. It's exhausting. <laughs> wow, this is the best I've smelled the boat in a while. <laughs> <laughs> is that the truth? Smells like goodness. And we have popcorn. Yes. Good girl. Start out the day giving Lowell a little haircut. The 
professional work of Kate over here. Nice job. Oh, thank you. It was what, your first time? Yes, like, my first dog haircut. With just scissors. No, oh. no buzzers. But she needed it though. She's really, I don't know, she was panting all the time. It's so hot nowadays. It's, it's like so much better for her with this hair. It's a pretty good job. Oh yeah, she's still gonna get trimmed on the head a little bit, but still, the body's looking good, you know? We heard about these caves and we wanted to do just, I don't know, we figured it was along the way and you know, we want to do as much as possible when we're here, so that's why we're gonna check out the Rocky Dundas caves. The caves at Hawksbow Key were also cool too, but I bet these are like way bigger. These ones are actually on the charts. Yeah, those ones, there are caves at Hawksbow Key, but we didn't go to like the cave spot, which was more north of where we were. We just went to some caves we saw right off our anchored boat. The thing we didn't go to the cave spot either, because our dinghy engine stopped working that day. Yeah, so I got the dinghy going, all, all prepped and ready to go, perfectly. Got the anchor, life jackets, oars, bilge pump. I even uh, cleaned the spark plug last night. Yeah, we shouldn't have any problems. And also, we're going at, it's turning into like a low tide right now. I think low tide is around 12.30, 1 o'clock. Uh, but it's around 11.30, so the tide's just about finished going out. I guarantee you if this dinghy engine starts working out and it works all the way over there, we'll even be able to row back in the worst case scenario because it'll be like slack tide when we're coming back an hour from now. And it'll be coming in too. We won't get rushed out into the middle of the ocean, worst case scenario. So yeah, Rocky Dundas is going to be sick. We just got here to the caves. We had no idea what it was like. Uh, this other boat was um, next to us. They're, they're anchored over there. I guess some boats anchor closer. We could have done that, but I don't know. We didn't know anything about this. So we just took the dinghy up here. We're gonna swim. <laughs> oh, do I? We're gonna swim over into the caves. I'd say if you're gonna come here, you should bring a mask and a snorkel. That's about the only thing we forgot, bummer, because we were just gonna check out the caves, but uh, we could have swam all around and that would have been cool, but we're just still gonna go in and check it out. Back on parody. Checking out Rocky Dundas was really cool. It was worth the uh, extra stop. Definitely worth stopping at uh, Foul Key right now. We're still gonna anchor here tonight at Foul Key. It's a uh, east, east, southeast to south wind happening right now. So we have pretty good protection here at uh, Foul Key. And uh, we liked it last night. We have a good set. So we're just gonna go for a swim, maybe check out the beach. Have a good time tonight. All right? Relax. Yeah. So what do you have here? We caught a little schoolmaster. How'd okay. you catch it? Uh, we speared it over, um, uh, we went over to the beach, brought Lola to the beach, and uh, we did a little shallow water snorkeling. There was like some reefs over there, few fish. I don't know, it stinks how we have to like resort to killing these like tiny little reef fish, but it's hard for us to go on dinghy missions. Our dinghy's not too reliable. Still, we looked it up. I don't know, you want to flip it over so they can see the other side of it? Here, if you look. 
It's the schoolmaster. Yeah, our dinghy engine stopped working like, what was it, like it says, 30 feet right before we reached the boat after Rocky Dunness? That's where we caught it, right on along there, that reef. And our dinghy engine stopped working, so we had to walk it along this little beach and row up to the bay. Just about to eat the schoolmaster right now. Should be good, we got some chips and salsa as well to go with the fish. Kate just started getting into fish. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's the new thing. <laughs> Catching, eating, swimming with. Trying things new, <laughs> you know? Barracuda? Where? Did it move? Yeah. It's gone? No, it's right there. Oh, wow. Could have been the same one that was following us earlier. <laughs> <laughs> 